Welcome to Imperfect Momming. Our children are constantly looking to us for examples. The term role model doesn't quite cut it here. We are shaping their worldview with every move we make. You see, it's not in the lectures we give or moments where we are actively attempting to teach them. It's in the micro movements we make, the unconscious ways in which we navigate life. We are constantly teaching our children how to show up for themselves, their friends, their future partners, and even their future children. So what can we do to ensure we are raising thoughtful, compassionate, self-aware human beings? We have to become them ourselves. No one is perfect, but we can still all be better, and it starts with self-healing. Let's get to it. Good morning and welcome to Monday, um, Mom's Happy Hour. And uh, it's Memorial Day today, so um, I don't remember if I told you guys that Xander was going to join the podcast today, but I do remember asking him if he wanted to. Um, and he is still asleep. Um, so he had a sleepover last night with friend and uh, I came out of my room and uh, he's asleep on the floor and friends on the computer. And I'm like, did you even go to sleep last night? <laughs> um so I have a really fun uh background if you're not watching um welcome if you're listening on the podcast imperfect mommy podcast um and if you're watching the video I have a cool um beach background this is my manifesting living at the beach background um it's the calm it's um it's my favorite so And honestly, I just forgot to change my background, Um, but uh, it's pretty, so I'm going to leave it. Um, Anyway, so we had kind of a fun, and I'm using air quotes, fun (laughs) uh, Memorial Day weekend. We decided to um, take the motor home up to Half Moon Bay and visit a friend of mine who doesn't live here. and. She's in from, I believe, from Michigan, and um, I don't know, either Michigan or Minnesota, I get the two confused, but I'm pretty sure she's in Michigan. We um, took the motorhome up to Half Moon Bay, and we thought it'll be fun. Um, It's Memorial Day weekend. There's probably not a whole lot of hotels available. We've been wanting to take a trip in the motorhome literally all year. So um, we set off on Friday night and we were looking for propane to um, to put into the motorhome so that we would have heat. And um, we were thwarted every step of the way trying to get this propane. Um, and it was it, it was so it was unreal. Like we were we went to every gas station there was um the first one the guy went on break literally two minutes before we arrived so we had waited 30 minutes for him and um and when he came back the thing was broken and so we went to the next place and uh i think that their thing was broken and then we went to the next place and it was too dark and we went to the next place and uh, the guy that could do it was had just left to go to the other one that uh was empty or something it was just it was like i it was hysterical if it wasn't frustrating right um so then we got to Half Moon Bay and um, we were there so late that we didn't even try to get a camping spot and we just parked in a rest area. And I've never seen so many cars in a rest area. Literally every single spot was full. So we ended up pulling behind someone um, to park and we parked right under a lamp. Uh, We didn't realize that we were under the lamp, but our, you know, like the ceiling vent uh, opened up and, um, and, you know, luckily we, we weren't cold. It ended up being kind of warm in the motorhome. So we opened the vent and the, but the light was shining directly over the bed and, and, um, my boyfriend's very sensitive, light sensitive. And so, um, 
and noise sensitive. So we're like right off the highway, so many cars going by. Oh, it was it like, so he ended up only getting an hour and a half to two hours of sleep. Um, and we drove to a camp spot and there were, you know, two people ahead of us on the wait list. Um, so we just decided to, to go home after spending, having dinner with my friend instead of spending the night. Um, and then when we got home yesterday, we found out that Larry doesn't have to work today um so we could have stayed longer but um part of my decision not to uh want not to go or not to stay rather was that I pulled a muscle how do you pull a muscle while you sleep like I I really don't understand this and I like studied the body like I was a massage therapist I studied muscles <laughs> I studied our bodies and like literally nothing lets you know that you're 40 or older, like going to sleep and waking up with a pinched nerve. And if you've never had a pinched nerve, I wish that you never have one because it's literally like the worst pain you can possibly have. Um, so Needless to say, all of that, um, I haven't been trying my new fun activities. Like, um, <laughs> I have, but, you know, then my body reminded me that I'm 40. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get adjusted tomorrow to kind of hopefully fix, fix it and help it. Um, and you know, it makes me think about something that, um, my chiropractor up in, in Canada, when I went to, uh, Toronto to visit my friend, um, she has a chiropractor and I got adjusted by him. And, and I said, you know, a lot of people don't like chiropractors because you have to keep going back. And his response to that was everything, every complex organism or machine that gets used needs to be adjusted. It needs maintenance. Um, you know, I always used the analogy that like you take your car in to get the tires rotated and balanced and the oil changed. Like you do a, a lot of things to maintain the health of your car. Well, your body is no different your body needs to be maintained as well. And the way that we do that is exercise and eating healthy and, um, and, and getting massages and getting, um, adjusted. Like they, <laughs> here, I'm going to sound like a conspiracy theorist, but once upon a time, chiropractic and massage was covered by insurance. But then they realized that when you get regular massages and, um, and, and adjustments, you actually stay healthy and there's not a lot of money in keeping us healthy. And there's a lot more money in, in sick care than there is in healthcare. Um, and you know, that's probably my most controversial belief. And if you don't believe it, that's, that's fine. I respect your opinion as well. Um, but I think like, I think it's, it's so important for us to take care of our bodies and it is so important for us to take care of our minds as well. Um, our minds are complex organisms and, you know, in my, in my coaching community, we love to say, don't go into the self-abuse room alone. And the self-abuse room is our minds. Um, so I did this exercise on a live event that I went to uh, a couple of weeks ago. And um, the exercise was to say really mean things to people. and when it was your turn to receive the mean things, 
your response to that person is thank you for your experience or thank you for your opinion. Your experience does not determine my value. And when it was way harder for me to say the mean things to people than it was for me to hear it. And I genuinely believe because of two different things. Number one, you probably can't say meaner things to me than I say to myself. And number two, I only have my feelings hurt when I agree with the thing that you said. And that is, I I know I've said this on a podcast before, but that is for sure true for everyone. This is the thing I know that I've said on the podcast before. If I told you that you had the ugliest purple hair I've ever seen, if your hair is not purple, you are not offended by that statement. But if I say you're fat and you believe that you're fat, it's going to hurt your feelings. And that's the key. I think that's such a huge key to understanding our own triggers and understanding that, that we have the control over our feelings getting hurt. And, you know, it's the, the people that, that were saying the mean things to me said some mean things, but they're things that I either don't agree with, or they're things that I've already worked on that I know that I had a trigger around and I, it didn't trigger me. And that's why I know that this stuff is true. And the, I truly believe that that's the key to our happiness is to understand that someone else's experience of you does not determine your value. You are valuable because you're a human, not because of what you do, but because of who you are. And we are not taught that as we grow up. We're, we're praised for the things that we do. And so we think that, that what we do is all that matters. And that's all that makes us valuable. And I think that that's why a lot of moms struggle with their value because we do a lot, but we don't hear you're doing a great job. Hardly ever. Our kids don't know to say it. Sometimes our spouse doesn't know to say it or doesn't think about it you know, like, well, of course she's going to clean the house or of course she's going to make dinner or of course of all of the things that we do. But it still feels good to hear you're doing a good job. We still want to hear it. And I just wrote an article that's going to be in a magazine next month about, you know, moms are the unsung heroes because we do so much stuff And we don't ever hear you did a good job. And so my advice is to tell yourself, you're doing a great job. Because back to my other point, if you don't believe you're doing a good job, you're not going to receive it anyway. Think about it. If someone says, you're so beautiful, and you don't believe that, you're going to be like, meh. I'm not, I'm not that beautiful. You're just saying that they're just buttering me up for something. Have you ever had those thoughts? I know I have. And I've, I was offered a position inside a coaching company and, oh man, did I have a list of reasons why I got that job and none of the list of reasons included because I'm a phenomenal coach. I mean, 
and I've studied really hard and I am dedicated to this business and I'm dedicated to helping and changing moms lives and helping create peace in their lives. I like, I am dedicated to that. And on the list of reasons why I was hired to work in this coaching company, none of it was because I'm a phenomenal coach. So my invitation to you is the next time that you feel that you receive a compliment or a criticism, pay attention to what your response to it is. Any kind, like something you agree with, something you don't agree with. If someone pays you a compliment, I'll pay you a compliment right now. You're an amazing mom. How do you feel? You don't know me. How do you know I'm amazing mom? You don't know what I did yesterday. You don't know I yelled at my kid yesterday. You don't know that I spanked my kid yesterday. You don't know how dirty my house is. Are those the thoughts that are going through your head? Because you're an amazing mom. Because you're listening to this podcast and you're working on improving yourself. This is a personal development podcast. You are personally developing yourself and that's what makes you a good mom because you know that you're human. You know that you make mistakes and you want to improve and that's what makes you a good mom. And that's how I know that you're a good mom. And I want to know how you responded to my feedback. I would love to know what you felt when you heard me say you're a good mom. So there will be another episode of Imperfect Momming podcast coming for you on Thursday. And I'll be back next Monday at 9 a.m. Pacific in the Moms Conquering Guilt group for another happy hour. So happy Memorial Day. I hope it's a fabulous day. I hope you have the day off to spend with the kids and um, have an amazing rest of your day. Till we meet again, keep healing. Bye, guys. Thank you for tuning in to Imperfect Mommying. It's time for us to step up and realize that our power is not in trying to shape our children. Our power lies in shaping ourselves into the people we want our children to model themselves after. Don't just do it for your kids. Do it for yourself. When you become a more self-aware, compassionate, and confident person, you and everyone around you benefit. For more information about me and my work, visit alishalyons.com. That's A-L-Y-S-I-A-L-Y-O-N-S.com. See you next time.